Yo, what's up guys, it's P9 back at it again and welcome to a new video. So I uploaded the speedrun like almost a year ago and it got surprisingly many views. Ah! You guys probably don't even know, but there's more than this one tutorial speedrun. All right, and as you guys can see, I'm on speedrun.com. That's like a site where people can like submit speedruns, like their world records and stuff. It's one of the most popular ones, I believe. I'm not that much into the speedrun community, but this is definitely one of them. And that's probably the only one for the game unturned. So as you guys know, there's a tutorial speedrun. As you guys might saw in the first video that I uploaded a while ago, I did the tutorial speedrun. And I got like 26 something seconds. And as you can see, I'm first. Actually, three people are first. With, uh, 25 seconds each so I actually beat my old record and that uh, 10 months ago there's also three more speedruns there's the horde speedrun the kill speedrun and there's the nature speedrun so I'm going to attempt to break every single record of those of course I'm already the first for my tutorial one so I don't have to break my own record again because I'm already the first one so I'm going to break the horde one which is 4 minutes 16 the kill one which is 2 minutes 12 seconds and the nature one which is 2 minutes and 57 seconds so that is the video of my tutorial speedrun and please don't mind my cam that that was like 10 months ago or something as you guys can see uh, if you watch the first one obviously this time I changed the resolution everything is like small and stuff so i can drag the gun faster to my uh, character to like equip it if that makes sense like that was crazy fast and then i climbed up i used uh, the ladder thing and 25 seconds just this one this one scene just i'm still shocked when i see this because i was so freaking fast so yeah guys this is how i got the first place back back then because someone else beat my record and i got it back so tutorial speedrun check so then obviously we got the horde beacon speedrun let's take a look at the rules so it says hoarding restoring advanced settings before starting run so we can like set up that like more zombie spawn or whatever it has to be default vanilla basically uh start position once the player begins to place down the horde beacon uh end position once the horde beacon is completed and the loot has spawned no damage dealing barricades buildings barbed wire barbed fences sentry guns and so on has to be an official map no workshop must have timer displayed during your run. So I have kind of built my own strat to where to do the whole beacon where it's like the fastest. And uh, it's a single player PI, but before we get into this map and click PI, I click reset world, reset, and then advanced and restore to defaults. Click it, back, and PI, play. But guys, before we start, we obviously need some items. So first of all, we're gonna need an, an Alice pack. And uh, we're also gonna need some clothing to wear like more ammo and stuff. Because the Horde Beacon requires quite a bit of ammo. Alright, Thief top, Thief bottom. And let's give me some med kits just in case I'll need them. I don't think I will need more than three. So just give me three. So I thought about which gun I could use. And I'm really going for the Dragon Fang. It's the most efficient one, at least from what I have experienced. Alright, so before I go ahead and try to beat the record, I obviously want to practice a bit like practice my aim a bit and what i usually do is um, i go in the middle of the military base i just shoot a couple of times and uh, the zombies should be here or as you can hear i have an adaptive chambering on my gun as well now so uh, this should probably help um i'm also getting experience right now in the rules it doesn't state that you can't use max skills but it also doesn't say you can use max skills i have no idea like i will use them because it doesn't say that i can't use them so i should technically be allowed to i mean everyone can um what i want to go for is definitely max sharpshooter and max dexterity to reload quicker and fast and everything since no zombies are spawning anymore i'll just uh, place a horde beacon just to practice to train my aim right now and uh, once i've done this horde beacon i should have enough experience and then uh, should be good to go if you guys are wondering why am i using a dragon fang and not a nightcrow with 200 shots or a health fury with 250 shots so basically um whenever i reload um it's the fastest with the dragon fang and the dragon fang also does like the most damage to zombies basically it's the best gun for this mission i've also gotten a honey badger because if there's let's say one zombie left um it's not really worth it to reload the dragon thing anymore i can just pull out the honey badger quickly shoot the last zombie or the last three zombies or whatever so it's uh, definitely faster than reloading the entire dragon fang i've gotten uh, some skills as you can see so my strat is i'll just collect all the zombies first of all so once i have them all together i can place on the whole beacon and like melt them all down and wait till every other zombie spawns and then also melt them down uh that's just the fastest way to do it come 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 with me guys so if you guys don't know how horde beacons work so basically every single city has a different amount of zombie spawns for example charlatan let's say those are um 40 zombies right so if you place the horde beacon those 40 zombies will try to kill you if you kill one of those 40 zombies another zombie will spawn because uh, a city can have max like 40 zombies for example other cities have less for example a campground maybe has like 
I don't know, five or ten. Uh, so this is why this city is really good. All right, let's place the horde beacon. I want to place it in the middle of the city to kill all the other zombies quite fast. All right, let's start the speed run right now. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> that was the speed run. So it took us 46 seconds to complete the entire Horde Beacon. I think it was a pretty decent time. And as we can see, the first one is currently at 4 minutes 16. And uh, I, I would say I was quite faster. So I'm gonna be the first one soon. Of course, I will have to upload this video first. And once this video is up, I can submit a run. And since I'm a, I'm a moderator, I can approve my own speed runs nice just to make sure i'll contact one of the other guys and they will look over and they can decide whether it's valid or not but it should be so we have the tutorial and the horde one already so now it's the kill one i first didn't know what kill is uh until i looked into the rules and it says so the start position is once the player is spawned in and able to move basically we have to uh, connect to, to the single player and once we're in and we're able to move we start and the end position is once the player has killed 50 zombies so the rules are basically only that we have to connect on the server and once we're in we start killing zombies and once we killed 50 zombies it's done so i thought wait two minutes that that's pretty good i mean if you connect to the server you have like nothing you have to get up maybe like melee or something you have to be really lucky with spawns uh two minutes is like impossible right uh, until i looked into the video and what this guy actually did uh so he basically spawned in a maple strike then got out of the server started the timer and connect this way he was on the server he got a gun and killed 50 zombies everything is legit that's exactly how speedrunning works since it's not a rule so this is 100 like as you can see it's uh, verified by c up it's a moderator so this is a valid speedrun even though he kind of cheated but uh it's it's totally valid for the for the speedrun so i've seen the first one did it in russia i don't know which city exactly this is like moscow or st petersburg and the second guy also did it there and i was like why would you guys do it in uh, in Russia and St. Petersburg. I'm gonna go again for my charlatan strat, of course. By the way, this guy also spawned in a gun before. Let me see this guy, 3 minutes 18. This guy as well. He also did it in Russia. Why is everyone doing it in Russia? And like in the same city. Just like the others, I spawned in. I got a drum, I got a maple strike and a vertical grip. So I can shoot 50 zombies exactly. But before we get off to get on again for the counter to start, um, I'll actually copy and paste uh, slash teleport um alberton i'm gonna do this because once uh, there's no zombie charlatan anymore i'll just teleport to alberton and continue killing zombies over there just like the others they kind of found a way around to make it easier and faster so i'm gonna do this as well it doesn't state in the rules that you can't use admin commands for that so i'm gonna lock off right in the middle of charlatan here i'll uh, i'll exit now i'm going to a single player and i'll go to pi and i will not reset the world because then my gun would just disappear and like my inventory would be empty i go to advance and restart the defaults again they're still on default i'll restart them again go back and the time counts from when i am connected to the server so basically right now as soon as i'm in so let me count let's hope i count correctly okay i'm in one two three four 5, 6, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 26, 27, 28, um, 29, 30, 31, paste it in. 33 34 i don't even know 35 6 7 8 you'll see it on screen 9 
And as you guys just saw, I killed 50 zombies in 58 seconds, which makes me to the new uh, number one in the kill speed run. Last but not least, we have the nature one. And the nature one's rules are the start position once the player is spawned in enable to move again, and position once the player has cut down 10 trees and 10 rocks. No skills, has to be an official map, no workshop, must have time at this play during run. Basically the same again, it's 10 trees and 10 rocks, but this time it says no skills. So it's just like in the last one, but we're not allowed to use any skills. So we have to be, um, yeah, without skills, no skills. So obviously check out the number one to see what his strat is and what he did to get like trees and like rocks and stuff fast. So what he did is basically, um, he did it in Russia, like by the, by the quarry here. Uh, he chopped down, uh, six trees. Then his uh, road went to one rock, this rock here, two trees, another rock, another tree, another rock. Uh, meanwhile, he used a car. As you can see, uh, this is the last rock he mined. And then there was a car right next to him, obviously spawned in cause you can see cars everywhere here. Yeah? Um, he went in a car and then he uh, went to the next rock so he kind of traveled faster and as you guys saw he tried to do everything he could to make it as fast as possible so i'm also in russia as you guys can see i have no skills whatsoever no skills at all and uh, i actually uh, came up with a good route so um first of all i'll spawn like over there somewhere just uh, cut on some trees i have a waypoint ready here so once i'm done with the trees i can just teleport to the waypoint basically admin commands are allowed just like he used the car but the waypoint is way faster so once i got this one rock i jumped on here that's the second one the third one then i'll jump on here and there's the fourth five six seven eight nine and ten exactly ten rocks ten boulders uh, let's see if I can make it faster than he did it. So I also have a strat for the tree. So I'm using this car right now just to demonstrate you. So I'm gonna get the, this tree first, then this tree second, then third, then this one is four, five, and this one is six. Once I have this tree, I'll take the race car, go to number seven over here. Once I have number seven, I go to the race car, go to eight. After eight, I take the race car again. Then this over here is nine, and then I'll go to uh, to 10, which is over here. Once I did the tree part, I'll teleport to the waypoint, and then I do the rock part that I just explained to you a minute ago. And I think we're good to go. Before we start, we have to exit, and we have to restore to the default settings, advanced. Uh, restart default and back so we have no skills Russia play and it starts get me in the server let me in the server it takes so long to load all the time Russia hello there you go and we got number one we got number two this is number Three, then four. This actually takes some what? This actually takes some time. Five. This is number six. Take the race car. It's definitely faster. This tree should be number seven. Take the car again. This tree is number eight. Race car. Nine. Ten. Teleport waypoint. <clears throat> Please don't attack me. One. Ah. Over here. Two. We kill a zombie. Ah, uh, that's three. Oh, I should have some cars down here. Ah, oh, that's gonna be hard. Why, why am I healing? I was uh, maybe dumb. This is four. Five. Then this is six. Uh, I don't know if we can beat it actually. We should be able. 
and three more. Oh, I have no, I have no energy. Are you serious? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! One. And let's go, let's go, let's go. I don't know what the time is. And three. That's it. That was a speedrun. Let's go. Let me check if I actually made it. All right, guys, I just checked the recording and I actually made it. I got every single world record. This actually took me a while, but I'm glad I have every single record now. I'm the number one in every single category. If you wanna, if you wanna beat me, Go ahead, boys. I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. Um, yeah, make sure to leave a like if you did. If you want to see more, uh, uh, if you want to, I don't know, just leave a like. Just do it. Just do it for the memes. And uh, comment, what's your, uh, what's your, what's your, uh, I don't know, what's your speedrun time? Try it out. Go on a single player map. Go ahead. And I see you guys in the next video. And bye. Say I hope you're feeling